Let's take a look at my setup for 2020. Tip tut. Okay, so without any further ado, we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna try and go from the bottom to the top of the setup. If I miss anything out, let me know, obviously. Also, if you have any other questions about uh, what I like about it, would I recommend certain components, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, let's do it. So this is the overall setup here. As you can see, I've got this um, sort of corner desk from Amazon uh, to suit the rest of the furniture in my living room. We've got the tower underneath there, three horizontal monitors set up on top with all my peripherals uh, and a lovely plant as well to keep things looking nice. So let's break all of this down then. Uh, first things first, I suppose, is the chair. This is just a kneeling chair I bought from Amazon, a uh, cheap one that I added the back to for a backrest. So I'm not going to talk too much about that. But what I will talk about, of course, is the tower that is underneath the setup here. So let's sit down and take a look at what's going on under here. First of all, most importantly, my three favorite amiibo. We've got Breath of the Wild Zelda, we've got Twilight Princess Link, and we've got uh, Samus Returns Samus. So the case, it's a NZXT H510, the ATX mid tower with a tempered glass side to it, which is cool. The interior is nice and quick. We've got the Asus ROG Crosshair V8 Hero, the Wi-Fi edition. Uh, Ryzen 7 3700X, I think. Uh, there's a CPU cooler in there, that's the Noctua NH uh, U12S. I think I added an extra fan to it as well, as you can see on the back there to help draw out the extra air. GPU-wise, we've got the Gigabyte GeForce 2070. Uh, it's the OC 8GB version. Power supply, I think. I'm not sure on this one, but it's the Corsair 750 watt gold, I think, RM750. RAM wise, you've got four Corsair Vengeance 3200 Hertz, 64 gigabytes in total, that is. RGB versions, obviously, as you can tell. <laughs> um, what else we got in there? Um, hard drive wise, we've got a couple of, we've got a terabyte M2 Samsung um, as the main drive. Fused disk drive backup, so I think a Seagate, two and a half inch um, solid state, another two terabyte solid state, and then another two spinning 3.5 inch disks. And then at the front here, we've got some additional fans, uh, Corsair IQ 140 mils, and then obviously at the back, a whole bunch of other fans as well. Uh, underneath here also, for those interested, I've got my guitar amp and a bunch of pedals. I've got my tuner pedal, loop pedal, break off, and uh, just a simple reverb. And those, whew, will go into my Telecaster, keep it nice and simple. Moving upwards then, let's go to the right here. Here we've got my Nintendo Switch docked on the side with a special dock. We've got a um, Razer, whatever it's called, USB extender headphone thingy that I don't use anymore. Switch Pro Controller, Dell AC511 USB speaker for the Switch as well. Most importantly, we've got the Pro Controller and of course the Arica Palm, which is huge now. On top of the desk there, what have we got? We've got the Rode NT USB microphone. We've got some Razer Nomochroma speakers and a Razer Opus headphones. Those are great, but I suppose that's more because it's THX rather than Razer. Got my Lumix backup camera, which I think is the GX80. Yeah, DMC GX80, which is a nice one there. Oh, really nice. Keyboards and mouse wise, we've got the Razer Mamba and we've got the uh, Corsair G613 tactile and silent mechanical keys. Coffee, very important. Monitor wise then, um, we've got three Dell uh, P2418D, 23.8 inch IPS and monitors 2K, which is nice. And those are all held up by a special crappy Chinese uh, uh, rig at the back here. Got it from Amazon. It's literally just a long metal rig. The most important thing here are all these little small rig arms here. I think they're by, is it newer? It might be by newer. Oh, I don't know. Um, just they're called small rig and they're really great. They held on pretty much everything else that we're going to be talking about. Mostly what we're going to be talking about is my Philips Hue lights. So we've got backup periphery ones there. And if I just switch to the other camera, you can see that looking up, ooh, we've got my face. We've also got a couple of fill lights for the uh, filming that I do. These light up the desk here, as you can see quite nicely. Also then got a, another cheap black lamp 
but inside there is a Philips Hue bulb, so I can change the color of that. Most importantly though, up here we've got my main filming camera, which these days is quite recent, I'm enjoying it, uh, is a Sony FDR AX53. You can't really see that if I block out this light, it might help. But it's basically just a auto mode um, camcorder rather than a DSLR, much easier. On the front of that, we've got a Kiosafine teleprompter. Uh, I dropped my phone into this bottom bit here, and as you can tell from the really cool mirror, it reflects the um, script up onto the mirror there for me. Logitech Stream Cam as a webcam for when I'm using this top down onto the desk, like so, shooting like this. Um, when I do shoot like that, I've got an Elgato uh, rig, like arm, multi-mount, I think it's called. So that allows me to rig this up here, but that's under the sofa at the moment in the little chaise long bit um, because it's not enough room and I don't like clutter, as you can probably tell. From my incredible cable management, which goes all the way down there and looks really good until you get to underneath here where I need the slack or the cables on my Wacom Cintiq Pro 16 inch edition graphics tablet. What else have we got on here? Um, Inside here, another Philips Hue Lite. We've also got my iPad Pro and two Zen Art Supplies notebooks. These ones are really good. The paper's lovely, nice and thick, good for watercolors. Inside my drawer, I've got all my extra stuff. Uh, guitar stuff, harmonica, a pen for Wacom tablet, watercolors, pens, glasses, uh, masking tape for watercolors. In this drawer, junk, junk drawer. But these Zacro zip ties are fantastic. I love them, they're so good. You can get them from Amazon for like five quid and they're brilliant. Bottom drawer, filming junk, spare headphones, um, spare bits of rigging, cable ties, spare bits of lighting, etc. And as of, uh, oh, my iPad. As of uh, 2020, what month are we in now? June. That's about it. The thing that I like most about this, my massive plant. Yeah, brand new, we only got about a week ago. Before the massive plant, it was this little boy, this little guy here. Now it's huge. It's like my big sweeping camera movements so you guys can't see too much of my house. Oh, lovely. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That is my 2020 setup. Before I forget as well, because I'm a complete idiot, I have got a Rode, uh, a Zoom, sorry, Zoom H1 recorder and a Rode lav mic that I use for when I'm doing these little segments like this. Nice and simple, really good, really cheap setup. Works really well. All you need is an adapter so that you can plug this, what's supposed to be like an iPhone lav mic into a Zoom H1 recorder, which is probably the best bit of kit I've ever bought in terms of recording audio. It's fantastic. Any questions, any recommendations, any things I would or wouldn't recommend, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great week. I love you all, and I'll see you next time on TikTok. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.